family, we are here at CBN, and I'm so ecstatic today to have William McDowell with us here in the studio. Yay! Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Privileged to be here. Tell me about childhood. What was it like growing up in Ohio sure. and Cincinnati? Sure. I was set apart uh, at a very early age uh, by the Lord. Didn't necessarily understand it. Uh, at times resented, you know, the isolation and the, the perceived loneliness and some of those other things. And, and you know, when I, I talk about this quite a bit because, I, you know, I had a season uh, where I said I had no friends. Um, and, and it's not that I was not around anyone. I just didn't have people with like hearts. Looking back on it now, you know, I, what I recognized that it was God saying your mind, you know, separating me uh, at an early age. It's the Lord who chooses by his own sovereignty and by his own grace. The scripture says he saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our own works, but according to his purpose. And so my childhood uh, was one in which I served the Lord, yeah. was set apart, um, lonely at times, misunderstood at times, but, but always actively involved in the things of God. I've been um, in church participating in, in worship and music since the age of 12. Wow. Uh, and so I've been doing this for a long, long time. Your new album was in Louisiana. Yes. How was that? It was amazing. Um, people ask me all the time, why did you record in Baton Rouge, Louisiana? And my answer is because of Bethany Church. They are uh, a church that gets it. Uh, and what I mean by that is, um, emotionalism can mask itself as worship. Mm. And so uh, a lot of times you, you have to be really careful to find places that, that revelation of God leads to worship. What you hear on the CD is 3,000 people who just absolutely uh, go for it. And so they're really kind of the, the star of the CD, so to speak, is, is the sound yeah. that they release corporately, not a sound that comes from the stage, but a sound that comes from a collective group of people. Amazing. So I'm going to play this little game really quick. I'm going to say some words, and okay. the first thing that pops into your mind, uh -oh. you're going to say it, okay? <laughs> Good, you I ready? I promise you that. Okay, you might have to be like, uh, <laughs> let's wait for a little bit. Okay, Cincinnati. Um, Skyline Chili. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Family. I love them. Oh. Yeah. Christ. My everything. Florida. Home. Ron Cannoli. I can't just say one word about Ron Cannoli. Uh, let me say this about Ron Cannoli. Um, I learned a lot about what I'm doing in the nations right now from my time with him. And I, I liken it to this story. See, I'm supposed to say one word. I got to give you the story. <laughs> Go ahead, I give, give you the me story. the story. Um, you know, when uh, Jesus went to raise Jairus' daughter from the dead, mm -hmm. he took Peter, James, and John with him. And then when they got there, there was all these mourners and he threw them all out. And then he raised her from the dead. And then later on, after Jesus had died and resurrected, Dorcas dies and now Peter goes to raise Dorcas from the dead and when he gets there, he finds mourners and so he puts them all out and he raises Dorcas from the dead. At no point did Jesus tell Peter, James, and John that if you go to raise somebody from the dead, you need to throw all the mourners out first. They learned by watching. What I've discovered is that sometimes I know what to do because I saw him do it. Wow. Yeah. That's good stuff. Yeah, you couldn't just say that, one that, I couldn't say one We word. needed to hear that. <laughs> Lette, did I say her name right? That's my wife. Yes. yes I love her. <laughs> Worship. <laughs> one word. <laughs> I'm making this difficult. <laughs> I mean, worship. Worship is worship. Yeah. Uh, uh, there's, there's no one word for yeah. worship. I, I, I'll say that it, it is, it is, there's no one word for it. You, you can't do that to okay, me. Okay, we'll, we'll go. How about we just say music? Music? Yeah. Okay, these are, these are two. This, I'm not a one word person. <laughs> <laughs> Worship and music. Um, well, music has, has been an amazing tool mm -hmm. uh, to open up an aspect of my relationship to God, to the world. Yeah, and so it's worship. Great. Yeah. See, there you go. You kind of talked. It wasn't one word. word. You're right. It wasn't one word. Okay, let's say this, and this might be difficult. This is the last one. All you right. ready? Uh huh. William McDowell. One word. <laughs> or a phrase. We'll say a phrase. At the end of the day, um, none of this matters if I lose my family. Hmm. And so I think that at the end of the day, I want my, my legacy to be that my kids carry on. Oh. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being intentional with this and sharing your heart. Absolutely. And thank that. you. Thank you yeah. so much. Bless you. <laughs> Bless you too. All right, guys. So go get his 
um, new CD, and you can see it on CBN.com, or you can even go to William McDowell Music. Did I say that? You Dot did. Com. You did. All right. Thank you for joining us. See you later. Bye.